right, everybody, welcome back. You know, these uh, days, uh, more people than ever are tracing their family tree to find out about their lives and the lives of their ancestors so that they can gain a better understanding of who they really are. Well, thanks to my friends at MyHeritage, the story of my next guest's ancestor has been brought to life. Take a look. While the history books are full of heroic stories, many stories of unsung heroes go untold. James Reese Europe is one such hero. Quoted by some as the founding father of ragtime and jazz, the only thing more staggering than his legacy is the fact that he is not a household name. Born in 1880 in Mobile, Alabama, he learned classical violin and piano as a child. At 22, he moved to New York to pursue a career in classical music. While there, he founded the Clef Club Orchestra, the first all-African-American orchestra and trade union in the country. James single-handedly led the orchestra all the way to Carnegie Hall in 1912, where he made history again as the first black man to perform at the iconic venue. In 1917, at the height of his career, he was called to fight in World War I. When not on enemy lines, he was busy introducing a whole new continent to ragtime and jazz with his band, the Harlem Hellfighters. His contribution to black culture makes his untimely death even more shocking. In 1919, he was stabbed to death by a member of his band. He was just 39 years old. James Reese Europe's efforts to elevate the black cause through music have earned him a place in the history books with many referring to him as the Martin Luther King of music. Well, everybody, please welcome the great grandson of James Reese Europe, Robert F. Europe. How you doing, man? Good welcome Steve, to thanks for having me on. So, Robert, now, before my heritage, how much did you know about your great-grandfather's legacy? My father, James, who, unfortunately, he couldn't be here today, um, he always encouraged us to learn as much as we could about the man. But uh, just to kind of gauge the sheer impact that uh, my great-grandfather had on, on culture, it's kind of hard to comprehend. I mean, I know mostly about his, you know, his big exploits as far as bringing jazz to France, but, you know, the finer details of his life, my knowledge gets a little sketchy, so I'm excited. Yeah, so joining us now is our... Uh, geneticist and family tree expert, Nathan Pearson. <laughs> All right, Nathan, uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, I know that you've partnered up with MyHeritage on this. How can you help people like Robert connect with their family history? So for our families, we have kind of two ways of looking back into the family past and, and seeing those details that you're, that you're craving to see, Robert. And those are the DNA that, that's within us. And then also the lore and the records that go out, that we share outside that, that that we share in families and in the paper trail, and so the cool thing with my heritage is that they they look at both, and so you get this kind of stereo view where you're looking through those binoculars, and you can bring the past into focus and depth better that way. And for your great grandfather, uh, when we look back at the records of, of him and his family before he was the warrior, before he was the band leader, he was the baby of the family the youngest of Lorene and Henry Europe, and they were living in Mobile, Alabama in, in 1880. And at that time, Henry was working as a gauger. A gauger is a customs official at the port in Mobile. But 10 years earlier, in the very first census after emancipation, he had been working as a school teacher. And you can see as you follow the family forward in the paper trail, that first they go to DC, and then later when James moves to New York, he, of course, in his father's footsteps, becomes a mentor to so many young musicians in New York. And there's amazing paper trail there of him going to Puerto Rico and recruiting. He was trying to find the best musicians to join his band. There's a record of him coming back with folks on that ship, with new bandmates, and pioneering that forward. And that, of course, brings us to music as his legacy and to your own legacy, the living legacy there. So in your own work, you inherited, along with other people in your, in your family tree and other, other kin, you inherited some of that beautiful pioneering uh, work that he did artistically and also, of course, the DNA that came with it. What, what, what attributes from your great-grandfather do you, would you think live on in you? Well, obviously, the most obvious thing would be music. Um, I, myself, I'm a career musician. I'm a uh, singer-guitar player for uh, the Foster Europe Band. It's a soul rock band back in New York. I mean, I got cousins that are 
just amazing singers, vocalists, songwriters. And my father, James Reesterup III, and my brother, Lieutenant James Reesterup IV, although they did not uh, take a career in music, they're, they're both very, very adept at music. How do you plan on keeping your great-grandfather's memory alive for future generations in your family? Well, I definitely want my kids to know about uh, James Reese Europe, but uh, I would like everyone to know about James Reese Europe. That's why my family and I, we've actually been involved in this thing called the 369th Experience. They actually recreated the 369th Harlem Hellfighters, and all the musicians are, are made up of, uh, of musicians from local uh, HBCUs, and they tour around the country. I mean, they're a incredible band, and they tour around the country, and they play my great-grandfather's music. Thank you uh, for joining us today, man. On behalf uh, of everybody, thank you, Steve, and thank you, My Heritage, for, uh, for bringing us on. That's really cool, man, to learn yeah. it like that. Thank you, Nathan and Robert. Hey, for all of you at home, uh, you too can make amazing family history discoveries. Just head over to MyHeritage.com, and right now, if you use the coupon code STEVE50, you'll get 50% off their complete subscription. We'll be right back, everybody. 